Guys, last night pool party was extension of their wager presentation. Like this has me, they went for their pool party and they continued impersonating and mimicking their fellow housemate, their fellow fallen housemate. And to be quite frank, initial part of the pool party was very, very fun. It was very, very lively. It was very, very entertaining because this housemate, they imitated all the falling big brother and Zamzi season 4 housemates. And how they did it, it was even more beautiful. Like, one person will step out and do a dance step and the other will guess who the person was imitating. Honestly, just take a look. I think it was, in fact, it's not I think, it was absolutely entertaining and fun to watch. I thoroughly enjoyed myself watching last night pool party. Just take a look at how our top six housemates, we are still in the pool party, imitating and mimicking the falling big brother Zamzi season 4 housemates. <laughs> A sniper pool party was extension of last night's wager presentation, so it will make sense if we say final week pool party is extension of final week wager presentation. And guys, the way this has made we are able to identify all the dancing steps of as Big Brother and Zamzi Season 4 has made. In fact, you could tell that, well, this has made they really bonded very well. Before the eviction of the housemates, they were imitating. Because Makeke was even surprised that before he could even start imitating Young Papi, Papa Ghost had already identified that it was Young Papi that he was imitating. The way Makeke was even surprised that Papa Ghost did not even waste time to find out that it was Young Papi's dancing step that he was imitating. Honestly speaking, Makeke couldn't help but ask Papa Ghost how he was able to identify so fast, so quick, that it was Young Papi that he was imitating. Guys, I really think that this housemate, they bonded very, very well with the fallen housemate. And they can tell at a glance, whoever that is being imitated without wasting time. Like, honestly speaking, I can tell you that last night pool party was quite interesting and fun to watch, and a lot actually happened. Guys, the way Sinaye and Z sneak out from the pool party and went inside the lounge, from the lounge to the kitchen, the conversation they had in that kitchen. Yo, he really got a lot of people talking on the TL, most especially Zinaye shippers. They were all shocked. They were all surprised. In fact, they never saw it coming. So the conversation that Z and Zinaye had that really got a lot of people talking on the TL was Z and Zinaye trying to understand why situation ship did not work out for their two. Like... Sinaye and Z decided to go down the memory lane, start tracking their situation ship. No, I cannot call it situation ship yet. Start tracking their failed situation ship and the reason it failed. Honestly speaking, they started from the root. And guys, at this particular point in time, we could tell that it is very, very late. If they had had this conversation long time ago, honestly speaking, they might have had a memorandum of understanding to either push this their situation ship forward or use it as a facade, you know, to keep their game going. But honestly speaking, I really feel that Z thought that Young Papi was stronger than Sinai because Young Papi made it seem as though he was very, very strong contender in the game. And the people in the house thought that Young Papi was a strong contender. Had it been that Z knew that Sinai is a very strong contender and their situation would have looked beautiful 
outside. I don't think that she would have want to have anything to do with young papi. According to the fact that she was constantly emphasizing that young papi is young, that she cannot be in a situation with young papi because young papi is very, very young. This one and that one, bala bala bala. I do not really think that if she knew that um, Sinaye was a stronger contender than Young Papi, she would have done anything with Young Papi. Honestly speaking, I really think that all of them in that house, they were playing a game. Young Papi was playing his game. In fact, let me just tell all of you guys the truth. You see, what happened between Young Papi, Z and Sinaye? Young Papi wanted it to be similar with what happened during Big Brother Titan. And I really think that Young Papi watched Big Brother Titan very, very well before coming into that house. And he wanted to play the role of Tabang and Sinaye should be the Yemi of that season. Then, what's her name again? Z will now be Kosi of Big Brother Titan. But guys, Sinaye was not that delusional. Sinaye was not that stupid, you know, to play the kind of game that Young Papi wanted him to play. In fact, I really think that despite the fact that Sinaye had a very deep feeling for Z, he was not ready to risk it all for her because, guys, he was seriously weak in that game they played in this Big Brother Zamzi season 4. So, there was no way he was going to play the kind of game Young Papi was dictating because I really think that Young Papi wanted to indirectly detect the kind of game that Sinaye and Z would play. Meanwhile, he will not be the tabank of the season. But I really think that Young Papi do not have all it take to be the tabank of this season. Honestly speaking, I'm sorry for who be offended by this. I really think that Young Papi do not have all it takes to be be the tabank of this season one is that he lacks self-control like the way tabank maturely carried himself in that house a 21 year old boy when he was in big brother house the way he maturely carried himself in that house i don't think that young papi has all it take to carry himself like that in fact, if it was Tabang that Z played the kind of game that she played with Sinaye and Young Papi, that would have been the end of it all. Because Nelisa tried that kind of game with Tabang and Tabang did not give her chance to succeed with that kind of game. Guys, Nelisa liked Meili. Meanwhile, he wanted to be with Tabang. So, that was the same way Z likes Sinaye and wants to be with Young Papi. And Young Papi was... Guys, honestly speaking, watching Big Brother and Zanzi Season 4, I really think that Young Papi lacked all it takes to be the tabang of the season. He tried, but he didn't succeed. This is where I'll be ending this particular video. Go ahead, let me know your thoughts. Subscribe to my channel. Click on the notification bell button. And do not forget to like and share this video.